I'm so glad you're joining me today because I'm focusing on the question, should your home be staged before you put it on the market for sale? Now it's no secret that staging your home will help sell it faster and for more money. So getting ahead of the game is key. Now let me walk you through the staging process room by room. Now let's start with the living room. Does the furniture need rearranging? Is the dining table making the room small, having so many chairs around it? Ever thought about how much better it could look if you just removed a couple of the chairs? Now, if you have both a two-seater and three-seater settee in the room, swap them over to see if it makes the room look bigger. You know, by making even a small change, like a swap, can create a big impact. If you've experienced family out on holiday that sit on your lovely clean settee, covered in sun cream, only to leave behind a nicely greasy mark that you can't remove, make sure you cover it. No buyer wants to see any marks on the furniture, so draping a neatly folded throw strategically across that mark will divert eyes away and create the feeling of an on-trend look. And put the rugs away. Buyers don't need to see how many rugs you own, so hide them away in wardrobes or under the bed. Roll them up, get rid of them. Anywhere, hide them as long as they're out of the way. Now onto the kitchen. Put away all drying rack sponges, soap, washing up bottles, everything, especially chopping boards. Buyer's eyes need to focus on the appliances and workspace, so keep the worktops free from clutter. Remove any magnets, notes from the fridge. The fewer things buyers see, the more they can take in the actual size of the room. Now on to the bathrooms. Put all hygiene products firmly away in cupboards. No one needs to know how you keep yourself looking so great every day. Keep one roll of toilet paper by the toilet. They don't need to see that you like to buy in bulk. It makes it look like you pay attention to detail if you keep everything strategically hidden away. Keep the toilet lids down. Don't ask me why, just do it. Again, it makes the room look tidier. On to the bedroom. After decluttering away all of any items that's loose on the top of your units, make sure there's no extra chairs in there that make the room look small. Store them away somewhere else. Remove any unsightly pictures and make the bed. That means making it every day. Now act like a good scout and be prepared because you never know when the viewings are going to take place. That's it really, it's as simple as that. Staging a home most definitely works. I've done it myself loads of times. Rearranging furniture, hiding rugs, everything you could possibly imagine to make the rooms look better. But guess what? This works. It does, believe me. If you're selling your home and are struggling with staging techniques, let me know and see how we can help you. You can email me at sales at homesforyou.es. Now don't forget, we're celebrating our 30th anniversary with a 3,000 euro prize giveaway. Head to 30yearsinspain.com for details. That's all for this week's episode. Thanks for joining me, Rebecca Savotka. I really appreciate it. Until next time, amigos, hasta luego.